We'll be covering shapes in Illustrator in this tutorial. Shapes, again, is pretty much the same thing as in InDesign. You hold it down, rectangle to a rounded rectangle to ellipse, polygon, star, and flare. So with rectangle tool, you can click and drag and release. Or you click and hold shift, it creates a perfect square. If you hold alt, the cursor changes and you can do it from the middle. Hold shift, becomes perfect. What else you can do in Illustrator? So you click once, this menu, this new window pops up. So you can change the width and the height. This icon, you can strain width and height proportions. That means when it's linked like that, if I change the width to 50, it automatically changes the height. If it's unlinked, I can change the width to be 150 and the height stays the same. I hit OK, it creates a rectangle like that. Same thing with rounded rectangle, I can click and drag. Or if I click once, width, height, and corner radius. Ellipse, same thing, click and drag. Click once, pops up. Now polygon tool, you can do the same thing, click and drag. Right now it's a triangle. If I click once, you can change the different sides. So three sides is a triangle, the standard is a five. So right now if I click and drag, it'll be the standard polygon. That is five sides. You have a star tool. Click and drag, create a star, click once. You can change radius, one, radius two. So these are the two different points. One that's further out, one that's closer in the star. So first radius is 10 points, and the second radius is 15. I can change how many points I want. I hit OK. It creates a smaller, smaller star. And we'll scroll over to it, and you can see. So from the radius, one's five points, and the other one's 10. Then finally, you have the flare tool. You just click and drag like that. And that is how to use shapes in Illustrator.